Okay, today I'm going to show you how to protect your books that might be in the classroom. Um, so the first thing you'll need is obviously a book, some contact paper, this is clear, and then you'll need a scissors. Now when you buy it in the store, it's going to look to be a huge roll like this. All you need to do is cut it in half, and that'll fit almost every single chapter book that you um, would ever need. So uh, we'll start with that half roll of contact paper. First thing that you're going to want to do is unroll and what I like to do is I'll fold it over like this. If you look very closely you'd be able to see there's about a centimeter and a half from where the book stops to where the contact paper stops. That's going to be about your halfway point so down here I'm going to make a little cut. A little cut kind of lets me know where it is. Flip it over, you'll find the line. There's a line right here. And then this is how you figure out how long your contact paper for the book is going to be. So you cut all that, that all the way through, and you cut the extra off to the side. From there, you can unroll this and then fold it in half. Make sure everything is squared up, fold it in half. After that, you peel off a corner, and this will come right off. Here's your invisible contact paper. Next, you'll find the spine of the book. One of my favorites, the Westing game. And what you're going to do is you'll find that midline that you just folded, and you're going to set this book right in the middle, making sure the spine's in the middle. And that also, it's um, the same distance from here is the same distance that's left here. And the next thing is I'm going to try and show you with um, the edge of my desk. All I like to do is I'll take this, I'll fold it over just a little bit, and then I'll use the edge of the desk to scrape that comp contact paper on very snugly, very firmly. After you get to that point, you can take your scissors again. All you'll need to do is clip off these corners. And if you look, I've left about a millimeter left. That's important for when you fold it over. I'll do the same thing on this side. I'll cut this corner off. So, right now it looks kind of like this. With that, I'm going to flip over the book. I'm going to kind of press um, just along the line. That way it won't bubble out in a couple of months. You don't you don't want that bubbling because then it just, it's just kind of pointless to have this. I'm going to smooth it down. You shouldn't see any bubbles or anything out throughout here. You just flip it over. Here's the front cover. You just kind of flip it over. In a couple different areas, you press down. And you have one side done. From there, I like to work the spine a little bit, making sure that there aren't any bubbles or anything. Don't notice there aren't any bubbles now. And just like the other side, you'll use the edge of some flat surface, cutting board, table, desk, whatever it may be. Hold it firmly and flip it over, and you'll see that I have labels on mine, so I'm going to kind of push around that just to make sure that they're not bubbling out again. Again, you'll take the scissors, leaving about a millimeter left. You can make that um, diagonal clip. And again, just like last time, you smooth it on over. After everything's flattened down, flip the back side, and press down in a couple different areas. Finally pressing down to make sure that coming almost completely, or as best as you can, completely in contact with the book. Now, we have these parts right here. What I'll do is I'll take the scissors, and there's some glue right about here, so you can't get all the way to the spine, which is a good thing, because if you didn't have the glue, otherwise, the, if you didn't have the glue, the pages would fall out. So there's a little bit of a uh, cut here, as close as I can get to the spine of the book. And then right here, I'll do the exact same thing. Now from here, 
push down on the top, push down on the bottom, you can open it up, and you can fold that in from there, just like you did with the two sides, you do for the top and the bottom. Remember, this is the side that was cut. Just pushing down. Now, I told you to mention, uh, I mentioned to leave a, about a millimeter on the corner. And if you look at there, you can see very little. That's because when it folds, it will kind of overlap. Um, so that kind of takes care of that. If you cut it too short, the corners of the book are exposed. And, if, well, you know, water, rain, all that bad stuff we don't want to happen to books could happen. Again, I've made my cuts here and here. Fold it, press it across, open it back up, and again keep pressing down. Once you've gotten that, you should be left with two other things. This would be the part of the spine that you cut. All you need to do here is once more take your scissors and cut as closely as you can cutting that extra contact paper off. And then you have a nicely protected book, ready to be read thousands and thousands of times, or hopefully at least once.